Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. There's been a recent update, so all of our characters are gone. New features, crown sounds, cleaner character select screen, bouncer weapons. Oh, that sounds interesting. So much balancing and fixing, so we know nothing anymore about uh, what this stuff means. Oh, that's so good. Never mind. I thought that they fixed it so that the uh, daily didn't get covered up by the character. It's not a big deal either way. Let's random. I'm not ready. I know. I know just by doing this, some people are going to be mad. But I've, I am not ready yet. We had such a terrible daily on uh, yesterday's performance. Or such a terrible performance on yesterday's daily to be perhaps a little bit more um, erudite. Well-spoken, if you will. That I just want to... Oh, we got uh, pizza time out of here. I just want to have another run at kind of like keeping things good. Admittedly, I know I'm an idiot. Don't think like I don't know I'm an idiot. Um... I hated Rebel for so long and never played as Rebel, and then I started playing as Rebel and was like, Rebel's actually like pretty freaking sweet. Um, I don't really like chicken all that much either. Although I will say with the uh, the new right click, chicken seems more interesting. You can do sweet little combos like that that work out. I'm gonna get rid of chicken sword for um, laser pistol. And I know there's a screwdriver, and that's like YV's mansion there, but I'm thinking instead we just go with what we got for now, and that's okay. Let's mix it up a little and go for boiling veins, because we do have a grenade launcher. We could, uh, you know, use this to do something valuable. Um, I, I don't know if chicken is better since the right-click change, but I do know that I'm much more likely to actually uh, use the right-click ability now that it's not basically just about holding the button down at all times, especially if you also get thrown butt. Probably should have been killed there, but was not, so life's good. What has changed with balancing is what I want to know. Maybe after this I'll go um, take a quick peek on the subreddit and just see if there's something uh, of note about the balance changes. We'll find out anyway. Just, oh, that is again terrible damage on my part. Get a grenade in there. We know that we're fine though, uh, as long as we have a uh, as long as we have pizza time, we can get back to full HP. Let's get some extra grenades here. Explosives, I should say. Sledgehammer. Uh, honestly, I'm coming around a laser pistol as a better weapon than I'd ever given it credit for again. I also feel like Trigger Fingers is great. We've been using that a lot lately. And I've got to admit, um, I feel like we've got more radiation than we normally have at this point. Or more experience than we normally have at this point. Um, so I wonder if that's something that's been balanced, is maybe giving a, you know, it, having a decent chance to have one extra mutation by the, the sewers. Just so that there's not so many super quick runs, but I, I don't know. I don't know that I necessarily needed that, but uh, Vlambear are the ones with the data, what do I know? Uh, by the way, the reason I'm using the grenade launcher so amazingly here is not because I'm a golden god, rather it's because I have uh, boiling veins, so at 4 HP I actually, like, can't hurt myself with the grenade launcher. So I, I want to take Assault Slugger, but first... Oh man, I'm missing like crazy here. I want to take Assault Slugger, but first I want to um, find Pizza Time, which is right here. So we'll come down, we'll get rid of our grenade launcher for Assault Slugger, and then we've got Laser Pistol, which we can super use as uh, like our economy weapon, and then Assault Slugger for like big bosses and stuff like that, I think is acceptable for now. We did hit full HP regardless though, so it's not like... Um, Oh, careful. It's not like we're um, in a bad place there or anything like that. I better get full HP because I freaking took damage on pizza time. Flat cannon uses shells. How is it? I mean, I think it's pretty good. We did get another level. Where's my pizza at? I probably ate it when I was at full HP. Very silly. All right, I'll take plutonium hunger. It's like, take eagle eyes. Please take eagle eyes. Take, I'm here. Um, but no, I'm not going to take eagle eyes. A lot of people have been leaving comments saying that uh, Plutonium Hunger is one of the more underrated mutations. Did you hear that? Like, sigh? There's, there's some partying going on outside. It is Saturday at like um, 7 p.m. So it's like, it's, it's a partyable time, I'll admit. Uh, shouting in the hallways, I don't know. Jeez, I don't know how I feel about that, but that's okay. You know, some people are trying to get some uh, pseudo work done here, and also, you know, redeem themselves in the eyes of the Nuclear Throne community, perhaps. At least we... How did we get 5 HP? Did I, like, pick up a med kit but also take damage when I wasn't paying attention? It's, of course, a possibility! Oh, God! Okay. What do we do? We got 2 HP. We can't be killed by fire, so let's keep that in mind. 
Can't be killed by explosions either. It's probably good practice to stay away from them, though. How I miss there is your guess is as good as mine. You want to sneak in here. You want to take out these uh, explosion men before they can do anything. Mimic could drop a med kit. Mimic dropped a med kit. I don't know why. It just sounded like a great, uh, great possible song. Plasma gun over laser pistol? I don't think so. I really like the, uh, the laser pistol, especially with trigger fingers. It fires quickly. Uh, it does decent damage. And if you get a laser brain and or scare your face, we can use that to kill things uh, up until the ice caves. We got another mutation coming up soon. Strong Spirit would be awesome. We get Strong Spirit, Second Stomach. Yeah, there's Strong Spirit. It's a little touch and go for now, I'll admit. I have faith, though. We got some pretty fast uh, firing done there. As a result of uh, Trigger Fingers. Made it so uh, it was not as slow as it normally is. Oh, yeah, fire. We're immune to fire right now, so we'll just get up here. We are no longer immune to fire. Shouldn't take too many shells here to get this done. There we go. I think we have an energy hammer. And maybe some other stuff. If I, uh, I missed a weapons case. Very stupid. Oh, well. Um, I would, at this point, like to get rid of laser pistol. Is energy hammer the right choice? I sort of don't think so. But I'm going to roll with it anyway. Because it does give us that, you know, one hit potential. Now, of course, it uses three energy per shot. But... Mostly, I'm just worried about killing things at this point. Let's see if we can get something better. Seeker Pistol. I do think Seeker Pistol is better. Maybe we can keep Energy Hammer as our backup, because Assault Slugger is going to be a little bit too slow to really take care of uh, annoying enemies en masse, if you know what I mean. Alright, good stuff. No extra radiation. I don't know how much I love our combination of stuff going on right now, but we do have another mutation potentially coming here, and I gotta admit, like, I'm- Oh! Screen went black for a second there. Oh! Help, 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 help. I gotta admit, I'm not, like, disappointed with the way things are going. That was not what I meant to shoot there, as you might expect. Now, Strong Spirit is gone. So we have to be very, very careful. Just gonna try to stay at a distance. Because medkits will have a chance to drop. It was a pretty messed up early game situation there. My main sore spot, by the way, with chicken is no longer the chicken sword sucks when you start. Because you're very likely to get better weapons on the very first floor. Which is fine. My main problem with chicken is the fact that I don't understand how to use the right click ability beyond the first floor. Like, it's really good and really extremely useful for taking out... Um, the rad scorpions, the nuclear rotatas, whatever you want to call them, on the first floor. And I feel like after that, it gets progressively less useful as your guns become more valuable and as you don't want to, uh, or like enemies won't die just by getting hit once. We'll take Scarier Face here instead of Bloodlust. We got Slugger. Uh, I'll admit Bloodlust is really, really good. Um, and especially now that we are about to die and, oh man, there was a medkit that we could have taken there. That's all right, 245 is actually almost our average score, so I don't consider that that is a truly terrible daily. And uh, we'll play as chicken here, and hopefully we'll do pretty well. Hopefully. Uh, no guarantees, of course. Our last run was very disappointing. I don't think that was a result of, uh, you know, bad mutation choice. I actually just think that one, a wrench, in my book, definitely beats uh, chicken sword, so we'll roll with that. But um, I don't think that's controversial either. What I was going to say is, I don't think that was a result of necessarily, like, not using the right click properly or anything like that. And we will take the grenade launcher. I don't think pizza time's that important every time. However, if we have the option of using pizza time, or doing pizza time, why not? Because it's, grenade launcher's already better than chicken sword anyway. Um, I think it was more the result of kind of, like, bad weapon choice, maybe. So, I'm going to take back muscle here. I think it's still really good, even though I've got a melee weapon. The nerf for back muscle is like way in the rear view mirror at this point. This is just the new normal for it as far as I'm concerned. So, um, we can stop talking about it within the context of, oh, it used to be better. I think at least. But I'm, I'm slipping behind the nuclear throne meta. I'll be the first to admit. I really, oh, that was very scary. I really appreciate all the comments. Um, even on the runs where I do super well, there's a lot of people who are critical. And of course, you know, sometimes that's frustrating. You're like, I just got the best run I've ever had, you know? What more do you want? But uh, it also is very helpful and it, when the criticism is constructive. It, it, it's the main thing that helps me grow as a player. So it is, uh, it's important and I try to do my best to read it and I appreciate it. I do think we'll take Eagle Eyes here, even though I probably overrate it a little bit. 
I do think out of those mutations that we had the choice of, it was probably the best. Recycled Gland is quite good in the late game, I find. Um, and, you know, if there's not a better mutation, we could take it in the early game and still get value out of it. But uh, just wanted to pick up something that maybe is going to be a little bit more useful with some of my weapons of choice. I don't think we want Screwdriver, even though it does give us access to YB's Mansion. Probably should stop using Wrench against those guys, but, uh, you know, we got a pretty dangerous combination of weapons here. Like, Wrench, we gotta get up close and personal, and Grenade Launcher, we do not have Boiling Veins. And we very, very nearly hit level 4 there, so maybe that is, like, the new setup, is, um, when you hit level 4... Or, sorry, when you get to the sewers, you're pretty likely to have hit level 4, just on, like, a balance tweak. Look, don't take this as canon. Just take this as me giving you, uh, the way it seems to me is that there's a little bit more, uh, rad drop. Should probably avoid that just until we make sure that we've gotten, like, rad canisters and stuff like that. I mean, we don't even need to do pizza time at full HP. Machine gun. Uh, I mean, I would like to replace wrench with machine gun. So let's do that, and then we can hold the grenade launcher. And we are still, uh, did I fuck up pizza time? I may have fucked up pizza time. If so, I apologize. But we're not missing HP. No, we're still going to pizza time. Okay, we'll take Bloodlust here. Bloodlust perfectly fine, in my opinion. Double shotgun. I think we can replace grenade launcher with double shotgun. And this is going to be awesome. Because we have uh, eagle eyes to go along with it. And we can, especially if we get like trigger fingers, we can use eagle eyes double shotgun for quite some time. Should have taken shells there. Um, am I missing, like, a rad canister? I am missing a rad canister, which I guess is the principal reason you'd come down here if you already have full HP. So, wait. Let's come down. So far, I'm pretty pleased with this run. Uh, probably past the point where I would consider using the right click, but that's okay. Okay, a lot of enemies. Don't like that very much. When we get into really tight situations, that's where we're going to be more likely to pull out that double shotgun and try to get, uh, try to get some value out of that. Worry a little bit less about ammo, a little bit more about HP. And for fuck's sake, oh, well, that was a good machine gun opportunity. But for fuck's sake, don't let these guys hit you like six times each. Like, the, if the birds hit you more than once, that's a terrible mistake. Oh, man. Good stuff. Okay. Eagle Eyes, in a way, almost feels like piercing shots for shotguns. I know that there is shotgun shoulders, but it really feels like it helps your guns travel further and like through enemies because they uh the shots just survive longer in the direction that you want to send them oh that was very poor damage bouncer shotgun we have to get rid of uh double shotgun for bouncer shotgun just to try it out oh so this is like the um this is like the little hunter weapon sort of that's cool let's take trigger fingers along with it oh it uses bullets so i actually should have gotten rid of uh I should have gotten rid of uh, double shot, or I should have gotten rid of machine gun instead of double shotgun. But this is good to know. It's good to know for the future, I guess. So, how many shots does it use at once? How many bullets does it use at once? It uses seven bullets, which seems like a lot, but it's not that bad. Considering, like, with eagle eyes, I think it does a lot of damage here. I'm assuming that also. We'll have a pretty good opportunity to uh, kill enemies with it, considering that it has uh, damage potential, like really high damage potential. So it seems like seven bullets kind of gets you a lot. There we go. We're going to be back to full HP. We'll take uh, probably whatever weapon this is in order to replace... Uh... Yeah, that works fine. In order to replace um, Machine Gun. And now we have... A double shotgun meta, but it's actually said to be a pretty good double shotgun meta. We got shotgun and uh, bouncer shotgun. Now, in what situation will we use each? I'm not actually sure. I'm a little peeved that we replaced uh, double shotgun with shotgun effectively. That's not a good trade, in my opinion. Thinking maybe when the crowd control gets nasty, we can take out bouncer shotgun, and when there's like a single target, we'll just use the regular shotgun. I don't know. Kind of a tough call. Yeah, I had a feeling I would get hit there. Pretty much entirely my own bad. I didn't get out of there when I should have gotten out of there. Okay. Get some shells in there. I mean, I'm assuming that's how we do extra damage. By making sure that we uh, use our shotgun, which I imagine gives us more damage per shell than we get per seven bullets. 
the bouncer shotgun. But I want to make sure we have balanced ammunition as well. Um, okay, we got some kind of energy weapon there. Get rid of shotgun for plasma rifle? I really don't like plasma rifle. That might be like lightning cannon. Let's take rhino skin here. People really wanted its plasma rifle. Honestly, I think I'm better with the shotgun. And I know the shotgun is shit, but... Well, it's, it's shit this late anyway, even with eagle eyes. But I'm hoping for just like another shotgun to drop, like a double flame or a flame auto or even just an auto. Um, would be awesome. So, I'm gonna keep rolling with this for now. There's flame. Okay, so I feel somewhat vindicated in that now. A little scary. Probably bouncer shotgun in like wide open spaces is, a, is our go-to. It's good. This is like a, this is a nasty setup down here. I wonder if, if bouncer shotgun actually makes shotgun shoulders kind of a viable item. Look, I'm not getting my hopes up, I'm just saying maybe. Splinter gun is really good, but am I open to replacing either of our weapons with it? I do kind of feel like uh, our bouncer shotgun is overstaying its welcome now. It seems like it's probably a good weapon like up to this point, but I'm going to stick with it for now just in case I've been missing out. Or may maybe I don't understand it properly. Ammo looks fine for our shotgun, a little low for the bouncer shotgun, admittedly. But we did take a... Oh, jeez. This is how it goes bad. We did take Rabbit Paw. Uh, one of the chorus mutations in the game. We still do not have Second Stomach. Nor do we have um, Strong Spirit. So we're missing two huge ones. I gotta stop taking dumb damage like that. That could have been the end of us right there. With Rabbit's Paw, we'd be expecting uh, medkit drops. Yo, that's Bouncer Shotgun with Eagle Eyes, by the way. So... It's still, like, not really that tight of a spread. Please drop a medkit. Please drop a medkit. You didn't drop a medkit. That's okay. I, I have faith. Energy hammer. I don't know. Uh, I really don't. One thing is for sure. I'm not thrilled about our, uh, our odds against Little Hunter right now. If we get to 12 HP or close to it, sure. If we get, um... If we, I'm just trying to take out these enemies like one at a time. So we have a better chance of getting out of this. And this is what I was afraid of. Oh my god, we actually survived. I should not have been hit there. That's entirely my own fault. Waited way too long to shoot. One more hit maybe? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, at least we got one more med kit at the end. Did we get another level there? No, we only got like halfway. Okay. 5 HP. This is where we gotta make up some ground, I think, on this floor. Bloodlust will help. Sincerely. I really thought maybe that angle would be tight enough that they'd be able to hit me once. Lucky me, I guess. Pretty much exactly the amount of damage necessary to get a kill there. Oh! I didn't even see you rolling there. It's like the that Chameleon Air song. Um, that Chameleon Air song. You know the one. I have to be, like, a little cautious... Actually, you know, I, quite the opposite. I think it would be in my best interest to be a little bit more aggressive. Like, fire a little bit more frequently. We don't have an ammo shortage. We might want more ammo, but we don't have a shortage. And, um... We have trigger fingers. So if I'm not... If I'm taking my sweet-ass time on, like, every fire... It's kind of a subpar way to handle it, I think. It's better for us to just get in that ass. And we're at 9 HP. That's pretty good. I do prefer having more shells, I'll admit. I, I thought that that would take more hits. I don't know, I'm starting to think that Bouncer Shotgun is overstated as well. But regular shotgun is not going to replace either of our weapons right now, so we're going to be stuck with it for now. I, this does seem cool, though, I'll admit. I haven't quite, you know, figured out where to place it, but it seems interesting. And it says Bouncer Weapon, so I'm assuming there's more, uh, more weapons in there. I'm going to take it with Shotgun Shoulders, and, like, the consensus number one is probably going to be, um... Uh, patience there, so we could get something else. Oh, jeez. Uh, but I figure, you know, we've got a weapon called Bouncer Shotgun. Let's see if we can make our shells bounce even further and maybe make them more viable. Something like Scarier Face might be nice in conjunction with this as well. I still don't understand. I guess Little Hunter is like a... He's the police bounty hunter. He's like Dog the bounty hunter. He's hunting us down as we, as we run from IDPD. But it's bullshit because I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. I'm trying to... 
purge the world of nuclear bullshit. I don't know why I, I automatically assume that I'm the good guy in the game. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, we have a um, we have a med kit, but also I'm so close to death. Just get some shots out there at least. One HP. Not that we were really in a scary situation anyway. Or like a, any more of a scary situation anyway. Medkit, Medkit, he dropped a freaking Medkit, oh my god. You drop Medkits too! I'm so tempted to like throw a gun at him. <laughs> Just to see if it works. He's gonna explode! Oh my god, I thought he was gonna explode right next to me. Very sneaky. Okay, well we've lived. This is like three little hunter fights in recent memory where I'm like, we should not have survived. People are like, we're gonna get you were to give you a VAC ban, NL. There's no way you should have survived that little hunter fight. I know, man. I'm with you. I am not disputing this minigun with eagle eyes. Goodbye, bouncer shotgun. I do appreciate what you've done for me. I think you've you've overstayed your welcome a little bit. But um, this is this it's good. I think minigun's a great weapon for us to have here. And we have uh, probably gotten more av more kills than my average run at this point, so we're starting to work well, and we're actually... I really feel like maybe the balance changes have made it semi-likely... Oh, Jesus, be careful. Have made it semi-likely... Oh, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. What bus? It healed me! Gotta get that med kit. Oh, 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 med kits! Oh, Jesus. Okay. We did, we lost 2 HP in there, which is expected, but um, I really feel like maybe they've made it so that you're likely to hit your um, your ultra before the first thrown fight, which is surprising, let's put it that way. We gotta get in there and kill a necromancer, but you know, with 14 bullets, we're not doing too fantastically on that. I, see, I saw the necromancer in there, I opened up my eyes, I saw the necromancer. I think we got him! <laughs> Don't miss that ammo, oh man, plutonium hunger would have helped out a lot there. You guys are gonna get me in trouble. This throne run's going well. My wife's on the, she's calling me right now. I unfortunately can't pick up, and I'm gonna get in trouble, but that's okay, because it's a clear throne. All right, so we have full HP. Well, we had full HP, even though it's less than the HP we had earlier. I don't actually think we're going to hit our ultra. Originally, I was a little bit, probably overly optimistic about this. But it looks like we could come close to hitting our ultra. We're out of ammunition. Okay, so this is a little bit what I'm worried about is um, without recycle gland, the minigun has a tendency to maybe get a little um, empty. I guess is probably the easiest word to describe it. And it empties out fast even with a um, oh, super flat cannon maybe is what we want to use here. Uh, it empties out super quickly even against the throne. So I'm gonna keep Super Flat Cannon because it does so much damage. Oh, this is a tough one, but I'm gonna go scare your face. Um, oh, Jesus. It all tabbed me out here, okay. Uh, left click, resume. I do think that maybe I've just had the kiss of death. Oh my God, the amount of times I've been shot in a row here. That maybe I've just given myself the kiss of death. Are we alive? We're alive! We're dead. We're alive. Okay, we're down to seven HP. <laughs> Um, because neither of our weapons are fantastic for economy right now, but they're all going to be good for damage. Just keep them, keep them guessing here. If we can avoid using too many shells and maybe even pick up like a decent number of bullets to continue here, we're going to be fine. We're about to fight the throne. He's coming for me. This might be a good opportunity to use like a single um, attack there, or a single, you know what I mean, probably. Uh, let's see what we got here. Super crossbow. We have 84 bolts, I think that does have to replace minigun. And then we get 16 shells that we can use with super flat cannon. Honestly, I'm expecting super flat cannon to do some real damage. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm pretty happy with this run regardless, like I think this is one of the best chicken runs I've ever had. And we're definitely, oh, what, do you want to use five bolts or like ten shells? It's actually a pretty tough choice. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way that this run is going down. 
I, I've not had a great history of doing super well with chicken, so I actually feel like this one's pretty good. Now, we're gonna be fucked on ammo after this fight. Like, it's, it's not gonna be good. Now, without trigger fingers really working for us here, it's gonna take a long time for these shots to come out. We got extra bolts, extra shells. Wow, that was closer than I would have expected. I never noticed that, like, shell purging animation before. That's cool. And we gotta be really careful, of course, because if we straight up die, unless a medkit drops, we're gonna be in a real tough spot. Oh my god, we killed the throne, and I did get hit, but I'm gonna come back. <laughs> oh my god, we have 5 HP. This is kind of hilarious. I think we're fine with our existing weapons, honestly. Alright, what the heck is the ultra? Oh my god, okay. Kills, reset, bleed time. That's really good. Thrown weapons can teleport back to your secondary slot. That also seems pretty decent, but I'm going with kills, reset, bleed time, just to keep us alive as long as is humanly possible here. Oh my god! Not already! I'm not ready for this! We got a medkit! We're living! We're alive! Oh my god. Get away from me, you dick! Kill him! We killed him. And it reset our bleed time. We gotta go down to the next floor. I got zero out of three HP. Just shoot! Just shoot! Oh my god, we got four HP. We're still alive somehow. Thank god we didn't take second stomach. It's functionally worthless right now. Yo, we need a new weapon. With dire consequences. Yo, I can't use flak cannon and super flak cannon. It just doesn't make sense. We have freaking three HP as chicken, man. As chicken man. Chicken man, chicken man. Hit his head on a frying pan. We had a fight. Chicken man won, but his ammo concerns are very serious. Probably gonna die. Do we take regular flat cannon? I don't know why. It doesn't seem like we're in a really tough spot. We gotta like seriously. I can't shoot a weapon. I don't have. I can throw though. Oh! Oh, this is bad. Throw the weapons! Throw the weapons! Oh, I tried. Still, that was a good run. That was one of my better runs. Maybe my best run ever with Chicken. And currently, our rank on the daily is 17. Not a super high score, 469, but uh, it's a good one. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, consider clicking the like button. It helps out a lot, and your support means the world to me. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.